Wait, decent fishing glasses for under $100? Yep, stick around. Hello and welcome to My Glass, Tyler. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about our top picks in fishing sunglasses under $100. I will admit to you that uh, there we do have some other options on our site where the frame is under $100 and they'd be good for fishing. However, uh, those are not available in prescription. I didn't want to be disingenuous and say, they're great sunglasses, go check them out. And they're like, well, I don't need prescription and I can't get them. These guys, you can get a non-prescription. They come with polarized lenses. That's obviously super important. Still under $100. What that ended up meaning is that they're all the same brand. They're all native. Really good quality frames, really good options, and great polarized lenses. So, I mean, you can't ask for more. So this is a really good list. They are all in the same brand, but pretty good diversity in size and style and so stick around with me one thing that all of these share in common is generous coverage they all have a good eight base wrap to them so you can see a lot and you have great protection they're also going to be nice and comfortable and they're going to stay on your face thanks to grip on the nose and or temple and i'll point those out when it makes sense they also like i mentioned all have polarized lenses and very cool they are still all are exable. They can all take prescription lenses. So if you do need prescription lenses, these are still great options for you. If at the end of this, you're ready to order, don't forget about Sporter X and definitely don't forget about our Sea Better guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something you don't like or just doesn't work for you. You have as long as 45 days of them, even if you get them in prescription, we'll take care of you no matter what that means on our end. All right, let's get into these frames. First up, we have the Throttle AF because this thing is throttle AF. <laughs> Just kidding, the AF stands for advanced fit. This was inspired by the original throttle, if you're familiar with that, but it has an improved style and fit. That's where that AF comes into play. Very lightweight, you do have grip in the nose, you have grip embedded in the temple tips. Very, very lightweight, a little more flexible than your typical plastic frame, but not crazy flexible, definitely enough to keep it on your face with enough tension and pressure to hold it on without too much to cause headaches or discomfort. And there is a slight bend in this. This particular material is a bio-based resin. This material is made out of a bio-based resin. Uh, so it holds its shape really, really well. But what that means is that it's not as adjustable. So keep that in mind, especially when I talk about size here, because this guy isn't too terribly large. It does have the, the grip that we're talking about is a hypoallergenic cushion all rubber, which is going to actually grip even better as it gets wet. So as you sweat, as you get hot, it's gonna grip even better. The extra thick temples also are gonna help with kind of like a side shield effect there as well. So you get lots of protection and coverage with this guy. And this frame, along with all of the other frames on the table, also do not have spring hinges. I will say that I like that personally. As an optician for 15 plus years, I have found that that's one of the things that breaks and you actually never want in a sport frame. And so just one fewer thing to think about and have to fuss with. Uh, and it has kind of an auto lock temple design, hinge design here, so really fuss free. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 125 millimeters, which lands you in a men's extra small or a women's small. And next up, we have the Kodiak. This guy is another really solid option for you looking for a more performance-based frame. Lots of grip all throughout the temple, uh, kind of an embedded design here as well, as well as in the nose piece. Uh, there is something to note about the Kodiak. You will find if you look at it elsewhere that they boast interchangeability and there is lens interchangeability in this when it's in non-prescription. When you get them in prescription, you lose that interchangeable functionality because the lenses are no longer as flexible and it doesn't utilize that interchangeable uh, mechanism system that Native designed just because it can't when we're dealing with prescription lenses. That is something to be aware of. 
if you're an RX wearer. They call this material Rhino Tough Air. I don't really know why, but it withstands high velocity collisions and extreme temperatures. So it's definitely gonna perform for those rough and tumble of you out there. This also has a brow line ventilation system, which is pretty unique. It's not crazy unique, but it's not super common. You don't see this design everywhere but the intent of it is that it is going to help with circulation ventilation to minimize fogging which definitely is something to be concerned with uh, the thing to note about the brow line ventilation systems out there is if you are a prescription wearer, I know I talk about that a lot, but we are Sport RX. Also, I'm a prescription wearer, so it's something that matters to me, and I'm an optician. So anyway, if you do get these in prescription, if it's a strong prescription, you have a fair amount of leeway here, but if it is a strong prescription, then the thickness of the lens can cover those vents. So do keep that in mind if that is a big selling point for you and you have a strong prescription because that might be an issue. You also get that same cushion all rubber material in the nose and the temples, like I mentioned. They also went with mastoid temple tips and that what I was looking for was cam action, that, that fuss-free temple design or hinge design rather, cam action hinges, which is really, really nice because it's just one fewer thing to fuss with. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 133 millimeters, which lands you at a men's medium or a women's large. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, but maybe you have additional questions about fishing sunglasses or perhaps you have prescription needs, we'll be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly SportRx opticians because they're eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more lists of top fishing sunglasses, we have videos, we have blogs, and we'll put links in the description below. Next up, we have the Eddy line, kind of the first in our increasingly larger eye sizes. Big lens here, so if you're looking for a big lens and great coverage, this is a good one to look at. Clean design, looks great on and off the boat, I think is a big selling point for this guy. So very, very versatile, great for fishing or everyday wear. If you are not a go out fishing three times, five times a week kind of person, then this is pretty cool because you can wear it on and off the boat. Similar to the Throttle AF, this frame is made of that same bio-based resin, very lightweight, great for extreme temperatures. It is a little more flexible in the temple, I think because of the big change in the thickness from the front to the back. Uh, but again, a really good blend of tension and pressure to keep them on your head, but not too much to cause a headache or discomfort. And you have that cushion all grip in the temple tips as well as in the nose pads. So this is definitely gonna stay comfortably on your face and in place. And it's hypoallergenic again. I think that's the same with all of these. If I repeat myself again, please forgive me. But anyway, a uh, huge lens. That's the big thing about this guy. And as we're going to go on, I'll be saying that again as well. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 137 millimeters, which lands you at a men's large or a women's extra large. And next up, we have the Sightcaster. Now we're starting to get some names that are a little more fishing related, right? Big lens again, gigantic, even bigger than the last. And I think the last will be even bigger yet. I'll still say it. This is engineered to be reliable and durable under any and all conditions. They have that same Rhino Tough Air, so great for withstanding more impact and collision. So if you're more rough and tumble, good option for you here. Same cushion all in the temple and in the nose piece. So grip even as you sweat. Great choice if you're sensitive to sunlight or frequently fish on brighter days because of that deep square lens and that thicker temple, especially at the front. It really does create more of a side shield effect and just extra UV protection. It's great. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 139 millimeters, which lands you at a men's large or a women's extra large. And last but certainly not least, we have the Grizz. And this is the largest on the table for sure. Gigantic lens. You have venting in the temples. You have that same cushion all in the nose and in the temple. Uh, a little more in the nose, I'd say, than on the other ones because this isn't an embedded piece. It is more of a... I don't even know how you would say it. it it's uh, wrapped around the, the nose bridge where it makes contact with your nose. But again, gigantic lens. And this has actually more of a built-in side shield where it's actually a proper side shield, which I'm seeing more and more. And I like, especially in fishing sunglasses, 
Uh, it just gives you that much more protection, less light coming in, less distracting light. You can focus on what you care about. Another bio-based resin construction, cushion all rubber, side venting. And when it comes to that side venting, especially because of those side shields, what you get with a side shield is that it does give you more coverage and more protection, but it does give you a little more of an enclosed kind of goggle style fit, which can promote more fogging potentially. However, thanks to that venting in the temple, that is not much of a concern. And this is actually one of the first active frames from Native that features this side venting. So it's pretty cool. Hope to see more of that in the future. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 139 millimeters, lands you in a men's large or a women's extra large. So that wraps it up for our top picks in fishing sunglasses under $100. Again, they're all native because you need polarized sunglasses and a lot of frames that look like they're priced well don't have polarized lenses. And so what I was looking for was something that was a great frame. You can get it in non-prescription with polarized lenses for under $100. Natives got you covered. If you have any more questions you feel like I didn't answer, leave them in the comment section below. Or like I mentioned, reach out to our opticians because they'd love to hear from you. Look at all my hand movements. You know I'm serious about this. If you're liking any of these styles, stick around for a short moment longer. We'll have an easy to click shop now button. And also again, if you're ready to order, don't forget about that Sea Better guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And for peak peace of mind, us opticians, I'm gonna say it again, reach out to us because we love hearing from you and we love helping you. We love helping people. That's like our passion in life, people getting the right pair of eyewear for their needs. And so let us help you be awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. If you're ready to shop these great styles, click this button right here. It'll take you right to them. If you're looking for more content to consume, check that lower bar for all of our ads on the social media outlets that we have because we have cool stuff that I think you'll like.